that's a wrap on February. And in today's video, we are going to be going over every single crochet project that I made in the month of February. Hello, my name is Sonnet and I crocheted a lot in February. It was a pretty decent month for making things and I'm excited to show all of those projects to you today. I made 23 things in the month of February. Now I know that seems like a lot, but like seven of those things aren't as impressive. So <laughs> we'll get into those in a moment though, but let's go ahead and get into the very first thing that I made in the month of February and that is Totoro. At the beginning of the month, my brother-in-law asked me to make a Totoro. And so of course I did it. <laughs> and I unfortunately don't have that Totoro with me. So that's why you're just seeing the photos now. But I really enjoyed making him. It was so fun. This is the pattern, my dearest neighbor crochet tutorial by Peme Ami Shop. But this pattern was actually a little bit overwhelming, but it's not a bad thing. So this is actually a beginner pattern. And by beginner, I mean this designer walks you through every single step. So having crocheted a bit in my time, I didn't need instructions for every single row, but if you are a new crocheter or you are new to Amigurumi, this actually might be a really good pattern to pick up because this designer does go into so much detail. Overall, I really liked making Totoro and I will probably be picking more up from this designer because it turned out great and I had a blast. The next thing that I made is this little teeny tiny little jellyfish. So I made this with the 100 micro Amigurumi book. I did talk about that in my recent Amigurumi book haul. So you can check that out to see information about that book. But yeah, this is my little a tiny jellyfish. I did crochet this with embroidery floss, but I used a 1.75 hook for this one. He was really fun. It worked out really quickly. And so I'm really excited to make more or of these little micro amigurumis. I've been wanting to do more micro amigurumi in 2024. And I'm also really excited to work out of this book with worsted weight yarn so that I can make more simple, quick, medium to small size amigurumi. So then the next five projects that I made in February were actually these no so bitty bunnies. This is a pattern by Shannon the Spoony Stitcher, and I was a pattern tester for this pattern. So naturally I had to make multiple of them. So I did make three chocolate ones, which I love. Chocolate bunnies were always my favorite Easter treat. I don't know about you. What was your favorite thing that you would get in your Easter basket? I loved like the Palmer's chocolate bunnies. Mm. So I made some in various sizes and hook sizes. I did make one with the big twist posh because I wanted to test that yarn out. And spoiler alert, I freaking love this yarn. But yeah, so I made the big chocolate bunny. I made two medium size chocolate bunnies, one sunny bunny, and then one Valentine's Day bunny. I made these around Valentine's Day and I wanted to give one to my kiddo because she does love everything that I make. And so I did make her this really cute little pink and orange yellow-ish uh, one here. And they are so fun. Again, these are all no sew. So if you don't feel like sewing that day, this is a great pattern to check out. Easter is right around the corner. These are the perfect size to fit in some fun Easter eggs if you want to cut a bit back on the sweets. And this is a free pattern over on the Spoonie Stitchers Instagram. They were really quick, really fun. So check out the Spoonie Stitchers pattern. I think you'll have a blast making them as well. Next up, I made another little mushy pop. This is the pops from Cable and Canvas. I talked about these patterns in my January wrap up. I love these. These are so fun. And these are the perfect projects for me when I want to make something, but I only have a short window. I can whip one of these up in an hour easy. And then I feel like I completed something in the day. So I did make another little pop. So fun. I love this kind of brown color here. I did use my honey bunny yarn for this one. And yeah, just another little pop from Cable and Canvas. 
I love these, you guys know that, and I made one this month, so that's good. <laughs> the next project that I made is this cute little monster in love monster. <laughs> this is a pattern by Crochet Funny Friends. I actually did mention this in my Valentine's Day pattern video, and I wanted to create a funny little monster for Valentine's Day because as you know, 2024 is the year of weird amigurumi, and I just love this little darling monster. I worked this up over the course of a day. I do need to block the wings, but whatever it's it's no big deal just so fun had such a blast and it was the perfect valentine's day creation because this monster is super cute super in love but a little bit different than all that other mushy stuff that you kind of get around valentine's day the next thing that I did crochet is my Tui here. This is Audrey Tu from Little Shop of Horrors, and I actually made Tui here to enter Shanna from the Spoonie Stitchers tot contest that she was hosting in the month of February. I was thinking what could be really fun with that tot shape, and I love Little Shop. I have to do a little shop artwork or I have to do a little shop crochet at least a couple of times a year. This is not my first Audrey too that I have crocheted. I have crocheted a couple, but I did have a lot of fun designing this one. I did use polymer clay for Tui's mouth and a couple of the details like the leaves and the little tendrils and things. And then I popped Tui into the little pot wrote feed me on there and yeah that is my entry into the contest at the time of recording shannon has not announced what patterns were selected as finalists or anything like that but regardless on if tui was selected or not i still had such a blast crocheting this one i listened to the soundtrack over and over and over while i made it and i just i had a blast so the next four items i've made you've seen already they are my dolls from oki pots these are the dolls that i created to review amigurumi adventures from oki pots if you haven't seen that video be sure to check it out to see my full and detailed review on that book but I did make Ruby the grapefruit girl who does come complete with a cute little basket I made Martina the Argentina doll Emma the crocodile she's waving at you I guess <laughs> and of course Pia the prickly pear you guys have already heard my thoughts on this book. You guys already know my thoughts on these amigurumi. I am so happy that I made them and they were a big chunk of February. And so I'm happy that they are complete and I'm just overall pleased with these dolls. So the next seven items I made, this is what I was talking about where it's not as impressive that there's seven of them, <laughs> but those are my book blanket granny squares. If you have not seen that video, I am making a granny square for every single book that I read in the year 2024. These first three are inspired by the first three books that I read this year back in January. We have Wish by Barbara O'Connor, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin, and then we have The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. I still have quite a few books from January as well as the beginning of February that I need to make squares for, but we are slowly making progress on those. But then the other four squares I made were books I read in February. This one here is The First Ladies by Marie Benedict and Victoria Christopher Murray. This was my Shady Hollow square. This was for Shady Hollow by Janelle Black. This was our book club book pick for the month of February. And I think this is my favorite square that I've made so far. It just is so much like that cover. It's, it's really good. I love this square. This is a square for The Bullet Swallower by Elizabeth Gonzalez James. And then this square is for Ghost Roast by Shani and Chanel Gibbs. So those were all the granny squares that I made in the month of February. I'm hoping to get pretty close to caught up with January and February, as well as crochet all of my March reads in March, but we'll see. March is gearing up to be a pretty busy month crochet wise, so we'll see what happens. But that leads me to my last two projects that I wanted to talk about. And those are my Pika Pow that I made this month, as well as the iconic woman that I made this month. 
You guys know my New Year's resolution is to make one Pika Pow and one a crocheted iconic woman per month, and these two are Februaries. Up first, we have Victor Frog. He is from The Animal Friends of Pika Pow 1, the very first book by Jan Schenkel. I decided to make a frog because of leap year. <laughs> I wanted to make more frogs, but I didn't get the opportunity to, but that's okay, whatever. I had a really fun time with Victor here. And what I really love about Victor is his little britches actually come off. And underneath his little striped shorts, he has these really cute polka dotted undies. I loved this little detail. I thought it was so fun. Uh, but yeah, I had a great time making Victor Frog here. I was able to use my favorite Barocco vintage. I was working up a Pika Pow pattern. It was just great. I loved it. He actually worked up relatively quickly. I did not give him a mouth because I waited till the end to sew one on. And then at the end, I thought he looks fun without it. So I don't know. Give me your opinion. Do you think I should still give him a little happy smile? Or are you like me and you think he looks fine without it? Let me know down in the comments. But for February's iconic women, we have Harriet Tubman. She is from More Crocheted Iconic Women by Carla Matrani. You guys know how much I love these patterns and I am loving the new book so much. And when I saw Harriet Tubman here, I knew I had to crochet her for February. She is so beautiful. I just love everything about her. Her little headscarf does come off and you have her beautiful hair. In addition, her shawl does come off and you can see her lovely dress here. I think she turned out great. I did stabilize her neck with some curling rods, but for whatever reason, I didn't place it too great. So her head is kind of wobbly, but at least it's not like flopping over and I can kind of pick it back up. I just need to make sure I'm being nice and patient when I'm inserting her neck stabilization. I might go back to using felt again. I don't know yet which method I prefer, but there is my iconic woman for the month. Harriet Tubman, truly a wonderful, wonderful woman. That's it for crochet. As far as other crafts, I really didn't get to making a ton of other crafts simply because I was working really hard on my Amigurumi adventure dolls, but I did manage to make a Tui illustration while I was crocheting up my Tui. This is the illustration that I did. I do plan to actually make this into a crochet journal. I'm in the process of doing that right now, as well as I'm in the process of making the artwork here into a lined notebook. And of course, Tui will also be a print and a sticker. So keep an eye out. I will be sure to let you know once all of those items hit the shop. But those are the things that I made in the month of February, a pretty successful month. I'm fairly happy with everything that I made. I don't think there was anything that I had a bad time making. It was overall great. It was a wonderful month, even though it was a very busy month. And I really look forward to everything that's going to be coming in March. That's all I have to say about that. Let me know what project you really liked. What did you make in February that you're really proud of? Thank you so much for being here today. I love you so much. You are so wonderful. And I will see you all a little later. Bye.